Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hi. Now, let me go ahead and do something here because I need the... One moment. Uy, que okay, we're going to start with the class. I see many people here already. So let's call the attendance, right? Let's start here with Ana Ruth Rivas Arevalo. Presente, teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Presente. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Presente. Elsie Noemí Alemán. Presente, teacher. Hermando Díaz Zelaya. Irma Beatriz Molina Enríquez. Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. Jefferson Rosa Landa Verde. Jorge Alexander Valencia Hernández. Thank you. Give me a moment. Seguimos acá. Jorge Valmora Mejía. José Carlos Chévez Chévez. Thank you. José David Escalante Torres. Presente. Carolai Silva Ríos. Hello, Miss. Hello. Mirna Elizabeth Ramos Martínez. Presente, teacher. Pedro Manuel Quintanilla Morales. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Presente, teacher. Robinson Alberto Moreno Agudelo. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Salma Mabel Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Presente teacher. Wendy Guadalupe Flores Cibrián. Presente teacher. Marvin Godofredo Palacios Nájera. Víctor Antonio Beltrán Flamenco. Ok. So we have their hour attendance for today. Ya tenemos acá la asistencia. Permítanme un segundito, chicos. Ok, ya tenemos a la mayoría acá. So today we're going to do class number 17, right? Yesterday we were talking about giving directions, right? So with giving directions, we are fine, right? And we are going to continue here with our class, right? Let me see. Ayer nos correspondía un tema nuevo que I really like, me gusta bastante, porque es bien sencillo y es bien útil, right? So that's what we're gonna do in this moment. We're gonna practice with that very specific topic. Okay, just give me one moment. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla ahorita? No, verdad? No. Tarán, tarán. Pararam, pam, pararam. Okay, one second, because my computer here is not cooperating. No me está cooperando la, la computadora. Right, but just give me one moment. Se trabó, como dicen por aquí. Por aquí. Mm -hmm. 
Ya no quiere, tita. Ya no quiere. Ya siente el aguinaldo. Vacaciones. Ya siente el aguinaldo, este volado. Sí, eso sí, es lo mejor. <risa> Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna show you here this information. But I want you also to pay attention, okay? Creo que sí. Can you see my computer now? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So we're gonna start working here with a topic that is called there is and there are, okay? There is and there are plus quantifiers. But first we need to know what is there is and there are. This is something very useful to say that something or someone exists in a specific place, okay? Very easy to use, for example, there is a mouse in my office, right? There is right, a mouse in my office. I can also say there are, there are, oof, there are, let me see. There are a lot of markers there are a lot of markers in my, in my desk, right? There are a lot of markers in my desk. So we are going to say that something happens or exists in a specific place. Now, how do we do that, right? Let's see here, right? How we are going to practice with this, okay? Let's start. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. Give me a moment. No creerlo. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? I got it stuck. No, no, no. Okay, we we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so we have there is and there are. These words, some, any, and no, those are called in English quantifiers. Okay, that's what we call them like quantifiers. Now for these quantifiers, we're gonna do the following. We have there is and there are, right? Look at the picture. I can see that there is one book. There are two pictures, well, three pictures with this one, right? There is one lamp, there is a table, right? So uh, can you help me here? Blanca, can you read the first two lines? We use. We use there is to say something. There are someone exists. Very good. So we're going to use it to say that someone or something exists, right? And the short form for this is there is there's there are right hasn't got a short form so we are not going to use there right only there is has a short form solamente there is está contractado there are no se puede contractar okay we're not gonna do that so can you read the two examples here as a kid Oh, sorry. There Can is. Uh -huh. There is. There's. There. A sofa. 
in the room. Very good. Continue. The, there are four children in the garden. Very good. Thank you so much. There are four children in the garden. So this word a uh, and this number four, they tell us the quantity right, that exists in a place. Okay. Nos está diciendo cuál es la cantidad que existe de algo en un lugar. Right? ¿Cuáles son los lugares? In the room, in the garden. Right? Those are the places that we have. Now let's continue. Good night, Look at teacher. Good evening. Good no. evening. Me costó okay. conectarme. Perdón. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Gracias. Now, we have here the question form. Right? With the question form, we're going to see is there, are there, is there, are there. Can you tell me, can you read the examples, Claudia, for uh, the questions? Uh, the question from is, is there, there, is there a, a restaurant in the town? Okay. Are there any apples in the bucket? Uh, the, basket. the negative uh -huh. from in the basket. The negative from is then there's there is if there aren't. Okay, there isn't and there aren't. Repeat. Uh, there is and there aren't. Isn't. Isn't. Uh, there isn't and there aren't. There aren't. Okay, very good. There isn't and there aren't. So we have questions and answers. For example, if I have the following question, the following sentence, look at the chat, please. The chat. There are two computers in my office. Right? There are two computers. Computers, perdón. Vamos a escribirla de nuevo. There are two computers in my office. How can you make that question? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? There are two computers in my office. Esa es la respuesta. Are right? there. Are there. Are there. Are there computers in your office are there computers in your office very good are there computers in your office excellent and if i want to say that no right how can i say that i want to give a negative answer no hay computadoras en la oficina there aren't there aren't uh -huh. There aren't computers in my office, right? Very simple, right? Like we say in, in, in Spanish, sí. hay o no hay? Teacher, no se le agrega no, o sea, no. There, there aren't. aren't. Oh, no, no, you don't have to. You don't okay. have to. In that case, right, since you give already the negative answer, there aren't any computers, right? You, you, you don't have to, it means that it's optionable, right? It's an option for you to do that. Good question, Jose. Now, let's continue. We have short answers. Look at this. If I want to give a short answers and I have the same question, right? I have, are there computers in your office? Yes, there are. Oh. No, there aren't, right? Yes, there are, no, there aren't. As simple as that, right? As it is simple. Sorry. Right, as simple as that. We're not gonna go into details because that's not what we want. No queremos detalles, solo queremos un sí y un no. Y gramaticalmente, así lo debemos hacer, right? Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Is there a cell phone? Is there a cell phone in your desk? Is there a cell phone on your table? 
Oh, yes, there is. No, there isn't. My cell phone is in my room, right? So that's when we give it. This is there is, there are, right? Let's continue. Look at the examples. And here I want you to look at the words in gray, right? Let's read. Uh, let's see. Mm, Anna Ruth, can you read the first example? There is some. There is some cake. There, there is, is some, some cake. Uh -huh. There is some sugar in the bowl. Okay. bowl. Is there any bread? Okay. Is there any bread? Uh, is, is there any bread? <laughs> no, there isn't. No, there isn't. So what do you think is the meaning of some? ¿Qué creen que significa son? No, no sé, teach. Don't worry. Muchos. Mm, no. Bastantes, bastantes. No. no. Uh -huh. Algunos. 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 Así, ah, ahí, más o menos. Right? Algunos. Para bastantes o muchos vamos a decir many. Muchos. Mm. Bastantes. Many or a lot of, right? A lot of. Now, what is the meaning of any? Any. Any. Is, the, is there any bread? Is there any bread? It's like saying, I algo. But any, right, is going to be used for questions only. Okay? Any lo vamos a utilizar en preguntas solamente. Right, that's it. No lo vamos a utilizar en nada más. Solamente en preguntas. That's when we're going to use any. Right? Is there any bread? Right? ¿Queda algo de pan? ¿Hay algo de pan? Any. And then we say, no, there isn't. Ahora, podemos utilizar there isn't en la respuesta negativa, no afirmativa. Solo para negativos y para preguntas. So we can say, no, there isn't any bread. No, there isn't any bread. That could be another option too, right? Esa es la short answer, right? Y lo podemos decir de una forma más larga repitiendo la palabra in. ¿Se entiende el uso de esas dos? Puedo responder también así. Is there any bread? Yes, there is some bread. There is some bread, right? Porque le estoy dando la respuesta. En, estoy dando mi respuesta en positivo, right? Yes, there is some bread, right? Do we understand these examples right now? ¿Se entiende? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes, teacher. Excellent. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Teacher, uh, you use there is for singular, ¿cierto? Yes, there is for there singulars are... and there are for plural. Okay. I will ask you something. Is there any milk in your fridge? Look at the chat. Is there, no, is there any orange juice in your fridge? Look at the chat. Is there any orange juice in your fridge, right? You can tell me in the answers, no, there isn't. Respuesta corta, right? Or there isn't any orange juice in my fridge. Respuesta larga. Respuesta positiva, there is some orange juice in my fridge. You can have it, right? Do we understand the use of some in any?
Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. El there significa están o, o esa. O son. Mm, Está. Le voy a ser totalmente sincera porque a mí no me gusta mentir. No sé qué, cómo se puede decir there en español. No hay una palabra exacta con la que yo pueda traducir there en español. Solamente puedo decir, por ejemplo, there are four computers in my office. Hay cuatro computadoras en mi oficina. No. Esa sería mi interpretación, pero no le puedo asegurar que esa sea la traducción, porque nunca he traducido there. No sé cómo se traduciría there. Let me check. There in Spanish. Veamos hacerlo. There. Mira, allí. Así es el traductor. Allí hay. Allí hay. Allí hay cuatro con no, that's not what it says. Right? Right. Okay. Now, do we understand this part? ¿Copiaron los ejemplos? Pero teacher, son es cuando respondemos en positivo y any es para pregunta y negativo. Exactly. Very good. Yes. That is right. Very good. Okay. So, now let's take a look at this. Right, let's take a look at this, right? We're going to use this, and this is a part that you need to pay attention. Eso es algo que deben prestar atención, por favor, right? It says here, we use a or an in the singular, right? In all three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogatives, right? En las preguntas también. Vamos a utilizar a or an, Cuando estamos hablando de contables. There is a computer. Right? There is a computer. Los ejemplos que voy dando los estoy escribiendo en el chat. Así que de ahí tómenlos. Ok. There is a computer. Ajá. Then I want to say, I want to use an. There is an uh, what? what? Oh my God. Apple. An apple. Thank you. <laughs> you say me. An apple in my basket. In my fruit basket. There is an apple in my fruit basket. So I'm using a, and listen to this. I am using a for things that are singular. And thing is also for singulars, okay? Ya le voy a explicar después de there is and there are, cómo vamos a utilizar a and an y cómo vamos a determinar para cuál utilizar, okay? Now, we use some. Victor, can you read this part? We use some, any, and no with? With? Lea esa parte, por favor. El segundo puntito. We use some, any, and no with uncomfortable no. Mm -hmm. Examples. Sugar. Sugar. Bread. Okay, those are uncountable nouns. And plural countable nouns? Léalos, por favor, Víctor. Usted está leyendo. En. En plural. Con. Con tal. No. En. Par. Etc. Etc. Ok. Now. What are we going to use? Right? Some, any, and no. Right? Some, any, and no. No importa si los si los sustantivos son contables o no contables, it doesn't matter if they are countable or uncountable, right? Con tal de que sean plurales, usted va a utilizar some, any, and no. Y a esos chicos y chicas se les llama quantifiers. Se les llama quantifiers, right? Aquí vamos a poner quantifiers equals a and some any 
and no. Those are quantifiers. Why quantifiers? Because they tell us the quantity. Nos dicen qué cantidad existe de cada cosa. Right? Silvia, ¿y solo esos son quantifiers? Uf, no. We have a lot of quantifiers that we can use. Right? Eh, Rafael mencionó muchos. Right? Many. We're going to say many. Y este es plural. Right? Many. Bastantes, que es un, un sinónimo de muchos. Right? A lot of. Right? A lot of. So these are words that you need to remember and their names is quantifiers. Se llaman quantifiers, chicos y chicas. Okay. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Sí, Blanca. No. Estamos bien. Ok. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue. Now, look at these examples, right? We use any in questions and not any in negations or negative answers, right? We already know that. So we have these examples. Caroline, can you read the question? And uh, Irma, can you read the answer? Have you got any money? Irma? No, I haven't got any money. Okay, I have tenido algún dinero o dinero? No, I haven't got any money. Okay, money es un sustantivo no contable. Okay, en inglés. Pero eso lo vamos a ver en el nivel 2, así que no nos preocupemos. Right, we're going to see that in level 2. Now, we can use no instead of not any. Podemos utilizar solamente la palabra no en vez de decir not any, right? Rafael Antonio, can you read the last example? I haven't got. I haven't got any money. I have got no money. No money. Money. Repeat, money. 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 Very good. Significa lo mismo, okay? Si utilizamos solo la palabra no, en vez de utilizar not any, va a significar lo mismo. No hay ningún cambio en cuanto a el mensaje que queremos transmitir. ¿Se entiende hasta el momento? ¿Sí? Ok. Sigamos. Right? And we use some, right, when we're making an offer or when we are asking for something. Uh, can you please read here, uh, Blanca? Read the two examples, offer and request. Would you like some coffee? Mm -hmm. Offer. Can I have some coffee, please? Request. Very good. Vamos a utilizar some cuando estamos ofreciéndole algo a alguien o cuando le estamos pidiendo algo a alguien. Okay, para eso lo vamos a utilizar. En este caso, nosotros lo vamos a utilizar con there is y con there are. Right? Aquí está, solamente como ejemplo para que sepamos que, cuál es el significado de some en inglés. Okay. Now, let's continue. Okay. I would like to show you an example. Okay. Ya que vimos esa parte, vamos a ver un ejemplo acá. Let's try to, to make this practice. It says there is and there are practice, right? That's what we're gonna do. Nuestra primera actividad. There is and there are practice. So we have two options. Number one, there is or there are. Vamos a escoger cuál es la mejor opción. There is or there are. Pencils on the desk. What is the answer? There is or there are? There are. There are. There are pencils there are. on the desk. Very good. There are pencils on the desk. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue. I will ask you Elsie Alemán. La siguiente es para usted. 
What do you say? There is or there are, Elsie? There is. Okay, lea la oración, por favor. There is a clear over. Over there. Over there. Over there. Sí, no me digas. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a tiger over there. Okay. There is a tiger over there. A tiger. Sí, porque tiger okay. es el osito de Winnie, is... el amigo de Winnie Pooh. Uh -huh. there, there is, is a tiger over... There over is... there. A tiger over there. Over there. ¿Dónde está la computadora? Allá, over there. ¿Dónde está tu mamá? Over there. ¿Dónde está la comida? Over there. Allá. ¿Ok? Over there. Está allá. No lo alcanzo, así que anda a traerlo. Where is the remote control? Que siempre nos pierde el control remoto. Where is the remote control? Oh, it's over there. Over there. Allá. Over there. Para eso nos va a servir. ¿Ok? There is a tiger over there. Robinson, next one is for you. There is or there are? There, there is. There is a lot of books. ¿Qué significaba a lot of? Vayas al chat y me cuenta. Muchos. Ok. Muchos. O bastantes. O bastantes. Ok, very good. Can I use, Robinson, muchos con there is? Mm -hmm. There is a lot of books. Let's see. Read the answer, yeah. Robinson. There are a lot of books. Mira cuántos libros hay, qué hermoso. There are a lot of books, right? There are a lot of books. Very good. Now let's continue. Anoten ahí las respuestas. There is or there are. Let me see another person. Uh, Javier Antonio. There is or there are. Okay. Uh, there are. Read the answer. There are uh, 11 players on a soccer team. Perfect job. Thank you so much. There are 11 players on a soccer team. Now, let's see Jorge Alexander. Antes que se me duerma. There is or there are. Um, there is, teacher. Read the answer. There is a phone on the plate. There is a phone on the plate. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's see number six. I want you to give me the answer. Eh, Jose David, there is or there are? Oh. There is a cute puppy in the box. There is a cute puppy in the box. You are right. There is a cute puppy in the box. Very good. Caroline, number seven. There are. There are, okay. Read the answer. There are many chairs and, and desks in the classroom. Okay. There are many chairs and desks in the classroom. Very good. In the classroom. Next one here, please. Ana Ruth Rivas. Look at the questions. Oh, so cute. There are two sleeping kittens. Okay. There are two sleeping kittens. You are totally, totally right. There are two cats sleeping. Very good. Thank you so much, Anna, Anna Ruth. And let's see here, Claudia. There, there is a jet flowing in the ski. Okay, there is a jet 
flying in the sky. In the sky, ah. Okay, in the sky. Let's see. Yes, you are totally right. Very good. Victor? There are many. There are many penguins at the zoo. Repeat penguins. Penguins. Okay, now read the sentence. Ahora lea la oración. There are many penguins out at the zoo. At the zoo, okay, at the zoo. Very well. So we have there the first exercise. Do you have questions right now? ¿Tienen preguntas acerca de este ejercicio? No, teacher. Everything is clear? ¿Todo está claro? Siempre ¿Tienen... que es plural, de are, ¿verdad, teacher? ¿Mande? Siempre que es plural, de are, ¿entendido? Yes, exactly. If it's plural, is there are, right? Okay. If it's singular, is there is, sí. okay? Now, let's make this happen. Antes que continuemos con los ejercicios del libro, ¿ok? Hay dos palabritas que siempre vamos a utilizar. Right? A en an. Right? A en an. Ya les expliqué esto, no me recuerdo. Recuerden, tengo muchos estudiantes. A en an. ¿Ok? ¿Ya saben utilizar a en an? Antes ¿Sí? de una vocal. Oh, ok, very good, very good. Right, we're gonna use a and an. Excellent. But it's not that simple. Okay, it is not that simple. So let's start with here with a and then an. Right. So we are going to use a right when we start here. Right. Give me a moment. Okay, we're going to use a, right? When the next word or noun, right, or noun, it starts with a consonant sound, okay? With a consonant sound, not with a consonant, with a consonant sound. And we're going to use an, right? When the next word or noun it starts with a vowel sound, okay? This means a lot of things, okay? Eso significa muchas cosas, right? When we use it, right? There is a whole explanation about this and a whole, a lot of examples, right? When we use a and an, right? For example, if we start with a, all of them, we're gonna use them for singulars, okay? Not plurals. We only use them with singulars. Solo se utilizan con los singulares. Right. For example, we're going to have here examples, a cat, right? a cat, a classmate, a bird, right? Those are words that start with a consonant sound, cat, classmate, bird, right? So. We have it there, right? Also, we need to think, right? When we have a vowel sound, right? So the pronunciation, it's totally different, right? When the vowel sound, we're gonna use an, right? Like we said before, an apple, an egg, right? Ah, eh, right? Those are vowel sounds in English. Um, an orange, right? An orange, right? And uh, an umbrella, 
all of these are vowel sounds and umbrella. All of these are vowel sounds, vowels. Vowels in English are a, e, i, o, u, okay, u. So which means, right, that there are some other words, right, that they are not going to apply to this, right? Now, for example, I have the following word. Miren esta otra palabrita. Look at this, <clears throat> this word. Okay. University. Listen to the pronunciation. University. Should I say a university or an university? A university. A university. Very good, Rafael. Why do we say a university? This one, si solo, de, si solo dijéramos que va a comenzar como con todas las palabras y comiencen con una vocal, cometeríamos el error de decir an university, right? Pero debemos guiarnos por el sonido, el sonido. So it means that this word, university, right here, it starts with this sound, J, university, university, right? I don't say you, I say you, okay? So we need to practice a lot of pronunciation and practice listening. Tenemos que practicar nuestro oído, escuchar mejor las palabras para no tener ningún error, okay? So we have here a university, right? We're gonna put it here. A university. Do you understand this rule? ¿Se entiende este ejemplo? Yes. Yes? Okay. Now. Yes. Thank you so much. There are also, it happens the same with vowels, right? There are some words, right, that they start with letters that they are considered silent, right? They are considered silent. For example, the word hour. The first letter is a consonant, right? The letter H. But the letter H in this word is silent. So I say hour, hour. An hour. I'm gonna put it here because the H is silent, right? So it goes to that way. It doesn't start with a vowel. It starts with. It doesn't start with a consonant sound. It starts with a vowel sound, right? Do you understand those examples? Entienden los ejemplos por el momento? Yes. Yes. yes that's the rule right now we have that thank you now con esto ya explicado right we're gonna go to the next activity we're gonna go to the book we're gonna practice pronunciation today right Let's start. We're gonna go here. We already practice our uh, yes. We already did this. We are going to practice right now this conversation. Okay. We're gonna do practice of speaking right now. We have Will and Tania. I would like to start with Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos, you are going to be Will, and Caroline, you're gonna be Tania. Okay, pay attention, listen to me. After that, you will repeat, okay? Listen. Okay. Okay, eh, donde esta mi puntero? Veamos acá, here is the mouse. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, 
there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Right? Now, let's do it one more time. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Okay? Pay attention. Más lento, por favor. No, señor. Vamos a hacerlo normal. Como no, más lento, no se preocupe. No. <laughs> so, let's do it. Right? Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Right, now, ready? Jose Carlos and Carla? Ready. Okay. Ready. Let's do Hello. it. Hello. And you hit me. What is the... Mad boy booty. I don't feel like her. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I hear told me to go to the building of my street. I know with it's down the street on the left side. Thank you. I have to ask you something else. Is there a trading center? There are a lot of trading centers on the building between May and King Street. I have some intervening there. Thank you. And I'm uh, and guy, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, very good. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you very much. Right, let's continue. Now, I want to hear right now, Will is going to be Mr. Alexander, and Tanya is going to be Irma. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like her. Don't worry. There are four buildings. What one do you need? I got to. I got to need to go. The bullying, bullying pardon, on the main street. I know it, it is though the street on the left inside. Then have to ask you something. LC is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between, between Maid and King Street. I have some interview, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, guys. Bye-bye. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, all of us, all of us, todos, 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 vamos a practicar lo siguiente, right? 
I want you to check on this. Okay, let's practice these words, okay? Please pay attention. Building, let here, buildings, down the street, interviews, again, okay? So let's see here, Santos. Repeat after me. Building. Building. Live here. Live here. Buildings. Buildings. Down the street. Down the street. Interviews. Interviews. Again. Again. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now we're going to listen for the last part. We're gonna to listen to uh, Jose David and Javier. Jose, you are going to be a uh, Will. Javier, you're going to be Tania. Okay. Uh, hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't uh, live here. Don't worry. They are for buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now we have the practice here. As you can see in this conversation, right? We have the practice of there is and there are, right? Now with the first one we have here, it says there are four buildings, right? There are four buildings. What's the other example, uh, Claudia? Are there? Are there? Uh -huh. No. Are there four buildings? Mm -hmm. Are there four buildings? Uh, no, no, this is so. No, they are four, four buildings. Ajá, esa es la primera. ¿Cuál es la otra, la, el otro ejemplo que está dentro de la conversación? Ah, ah sería, is there? Is, is there? there uh, a training center? Is there a training center? Okay, very uh -huh. good. Is there a training center? Okay, excellent. What's the other, Claudia? Uh, they are a lot of training center on the building with May and King Street. Between. Between May and King Street. Very good. Thank you so much, Claudia. Thank you. So these are the three examples that we have in the conversation, right? Now, what are we going to do? We're going to keep on practicing here with this conversation. We are going to answer these three questions, right? Now, can you read the first question number one? Rafael Antonio, question number two, Elsie, question number three, Salma. Leana, por favor. How many neighbor buildings are are three. Are, are there, there? Are there? Are there? Buildings. 
buildings. Build, buildings. Okay, thank you. Continue, number two. Where is the building? Where will wants to go? Locate. Locate. Okay, permítame que no la escucho. Rafael, apague su micrófono, por favor. Gracias. Okay, repita, Elsie. Okay. Where is the building? Where is the building? Where will wants to go locate? Located. Located. Very good. Number three, please. How many training centers are there? What are they? Where are they? Very good. So those are the answers that you need to look for in the conversation. Esas respuestas, chicos y chicas, están en la conversación. Okay? So let's do it. Veamos. ¿Cuáles son las respuestas? You have three minutes. Tienen exactamente hasta las nueve. Que voy a pasar asistencia. Este sí, el, vaya, eh, si, van, si son los tractores de minutito, son tres, tres piezas por seis dólares. O sí, tres piezas por seis dólares. Did you finish? Mm -hmm. You know what? I need I need some water because if not, I'm gonna die. So give me one minute, okay? Teacher puede poner la conversación, es que no tengo a la mano el libro, fíjese. Ana, si gusta se lo mando ahí al WhatsApp. Porfa. Gracias, Elsa. Te voy a tomar una foto. Vaya, gracias. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yeah. Let's see the answers. Veamos que tienen. Ya son las nueve. Number one. Number one. I would like to listen the answer from Mirna Elizabeth. Mirna Elizabeth. Answer for number one. How many Melville buildings are there? Four buildings. Okay. There are four buildings. Repeat. They, there are four buildings. Buildings. Building. 
Very good. Is this correct, guys? There are four buildings, is that correct? Yes. Yes, it is, thank you. Now that you have your microphone open, Miss Blanca, can you help me with number two? Ah, Ale, siempre hay que agregar. Mirna, apaga su micrófono. There is a training center. Okay, there is a training center. Is that the answer? Where is the building where Will wants to go located? Donde está el edificio al cual quiere ir Will? In between Main and King Street. Okay. It is between Main Main King King Street. A street. A street. A street. Repeat. A street. A street. Exactly. Because it's a strip of other cost. Ah, okay. okay. A strip. Very, okay. <laughs> A street. Now, what is the answer? There is a training center or it is between Main and King Street? It is between Main and King Street. Thank you, Blanca, for uh, confirming the answer. What about number three? Who has number three? Let's see, Jose Carlos Chavez. Jose? Chévez, Chévez. Victor Antonio, do you have the answer? No. Ah? Finish. Okay, what is the answer for number three? No tiene la respuesta todavía? No, dicho. Okay. Eh, veamos. Irma. What's the answer for number three? No, tengo tampoco la respuesta todavía, teacher. Okay, cuando no tengamos la respuesta, teacher. There are, uh -huh. there are a lot of training centers. Training centers. Thank you so much, Blanca. There are a lot of training centers. Very good. Thank you so much. Cuando no tengamos la respuesta, vamos a decirlo de la siguiente forma en, en inglés. I don't, I don't have the answer yet. Anótenlo, por favor. No tengo la respuesta aún. I don't have the answer yet. Repeat, Victor. I don't. Léalo. La respuesta. Lea lo que acabo de escribir. Esto acabo de escribir, Víctor, póngame atención, por favor. Cuando usted no tenga la respuesta, va a decir de la siguiente forma. I don't have the answer yet. Repita. I don't the Mire las palabras que están acá, por favor, léalas bien. I don't have okay. the answer yet. Ah, okay, perdón. I don't have the answer yet. Have. Have. Yet. Okay. yet. okay. I don't have the answer yet. Repeat, Irma. I don't have the answer yet. Okay, very good. ¿Y qué significaba eso, Carol? I, I don't have the answer yet. Eh, no, no tengo la respuesta. Ok. Aún no tengo la respuesta, pero la voy a tener. Right? Aún no la tengo. Very good. Okay. Pero planean tenerla. Ok. Very good. Now, let's continue. Continuemos acá. Voy a pasar asistencia rapidito. Right? And then we continue here. Right? Give me a moment. Veamos aquí. Ana Ruth Rivas Arevalo. Presente, Techa. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. 
Presente. Claudia y Emilia Corea. Presente. Thank you. El sino de mí, Alemán Gómez. Alemán Gómez. Presente, teacher. Irma Beatriz Molina Enríquez. Presente, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. Give me a moment. Uf. Se me movió aquí su nombre, Irma. Deme un segundo. Irma, aquí está. Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. Presente, teacher. Jefferson Rosa Landa Verde. Jorge Alexander Valencia Hernández. Presente, teacher. Jorge Balmore Mejía. José Carlos Chévez Chévez. Presente. José David Escalante Torres. Present teacher. Carola y Silva Ríos. Present. Mirna Elizabeth Ramos Martínez. Presente teacher. Pedro Manuel Quintanilla Morales. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Presente teacher. Robinson Alberto Moreno Agudelo. Present teacher. Salma Mabel Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Presente, teacher. Wendy Guadalupe Flores Cibrián. Marvin Godofredo Palacios Nájera. Víctor Antonio Beltrán Flamenco. Presente. Thank you so much. Presente. Teacher, so no, yes? copié la última, no copié la última respuesta. The last answer. Pero ya lo quité, ya no me aparece. Oh. Sorry. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. We're going to keep working with the book. Vamos a continuar trabajando un poquito que con eh, el libro, right? Antes que hagamos otro ejercicio un poquito más complicado, right? We are here. We can see we have there is and there are, right? With quantifiers, right? What is a quantifier? A, and, some, any, a lot of, right? Those are quantifiers. Now, I want you to practice your pronunciation. Uh, can you please read for me the examples on the chart, Salma? These examples, the first two. These first three examples, actually. There is. Okay. okay. There is an ATM across the, the street. There's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Okay. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Around the corner. Okay, around very good. The corner. Excellent. Thank you so much, Salma. And let's see here with plurals. Plurals. I need you to help me with plurals. Please, uh, Claudia. Uh, they are plural. Mm -hmm. They are a lot of companies down the street. Uh -huh. They are some supermarket on the right and left side of the street. Mm -hmm. They are no hospital on barrio street. Very good. There are no hospitals on Barry Street. Very good. So the first exercise is pretty, pretty easy. Uh, it's telling me here, complete the exercises with there is or there are and a quantifier. They are telling you already the quantify, some quantifiers that you can use. You can use other quantifiers, okay? Pueden utilizar de los otros que ya conocemos por el momento. So let's just start. We're gonna do this exercise individually, okay? Let's do it individually. <clears throat> Let me know when you finish. Thank you. 
Tell me when you finish. I finished, teacher. Thank you so much, Javier. I finished, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to search the answers then. Vamos a compartir entonces las respuestas. Right. Estoy here. Give me a moment. Okay, so let's share the answers here. Right, number one, Javier, what do you have in number one? Javier? Uh, sí, uh, there is. There is. Can you read the complete answer, please? There is marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay, very good, there is. Should I use any other quantifier? There is a lot of marketing presentation. There is any, there is some, there is a, uh, what should I use? Uh, there, there is N. N? Okay, now based on the explanation we had before with N, N, marketing, is that correct? Marketing. Claudia says no, uh huh. Why do you say no, Claudia? ¿Qué debo cambiar? Ah, solo any. <laughs> Where is any? Any, but any is for negatives. This ah, sentence sí. is not negative, uh huh. No, sorry, there is mm, aren't. 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 No, aren't is for negative. There is a, exactly, Blanca, exactly, Robinson. There is a, so let's see. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Very good. Number two. Let's see number two, Elsie. Okay, teacher. Um, esa yo la tengo como there are a lot of business workshop down the street. Okay, there are a lot of business workshops around oh, down the street. Okay, very good. That is a possibility, Elsie. Also, you can use Le voy a apagar el micrófono, Elsie, porque me oigo a mí misma y eso me estresa. Disculpe. Right? We have there, right? We can say there are there are a lot of business workshops down the street. Perfect. That's correct. Okay? But also we can say there are some business workshops down the street, okay? We can say two options. El libro nos está dando un quantifier que podemos utilizar. Veamos la siguiente, eh, Caroline, number three. There are many? Many, the word is no. No, aquí mira, hay un quantifier que dice no. Uh -huh. There are? There are a restaurant. 
a restaurant. A re recruitment. <laughs> okay. Recruitment centers around my building. Okay, okay. Now, when we say that the ser quantifier is no, right, significa que no hay, right? Okay. No hay, no, significa que no hay. Y si tengo there are y a, ¿eso hace match? No. No. Right? There, aren't. there aren't. No. Ok. Ahora, si el quantifier es no, tenemos varias opciones. Ok. There okay. aren't. Recruitment okay. center sería la primera opción. There aren't. La segunda opción sería there are no, no recruitment centers. Y la tercera opción es, ¿cuál es la otra forma negativa? There are any. There aren't any. There aren't any. Muy bien. Estas son las tres opciones que podemos utilizar para esta respuesta. ¿Ok? Todas son negativas. Now, let's see here number five. This number five, right here. Number five, tell me the answers, please, Agudelo. Mm -hmm. Profe, esa sí no la tengo, tengo la... la ¿Cómo se dice que primera. no tiene la respuesta? Eh, ya le digo. A note, uh, how it left unsure yet. Exactly. I don't have the answer yet. Okay, escoja como din del público. Alguien que le ayude. Mm. Vamos a ver. Alguien que está bostezando. No se tape, José David, deje que se lo vea. <laughs> <laughs> no sé. Rafael. Rafael, ok. Rafael, ¿cómo va el partido, Rafael? Okay. Perdió Ay. León 2 a 1. Perdió León 2 a 1, lo siento. <risa> ok, ok. Es mi team, team favorito en México. Oh, your favorite team from Mexico, I see. <risa> ok. Yo puse, there's a store on the corner of Roosevelt oh. Street. But this one, Rafael, number five. Five, five. Ah, uh, there, 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 there is, there, there are, there are bank be, behind the factory I work. Okay, there are banks behind the factory I work. Tell me a quantifier. Banks, what quantifier back on banks? No, no estoy pidiendo que me lo haga negativo. Soy que me diga un quantifier. ¿Qué era un quantifier? Son aquellas palabritas que nos van a decir la cantidad que existe de algo o de alguien. De algo o de alguien. Ah, uh -huh. an. Uh, um. An. ¿Por qué me están yeah. utilizando an con plurales? Si a y yeah, an uh. son... ¿Ah? ¿Qué are uh. No, porque A y AN son para singulares y BANKS es plural. ¿Cómo, Irma? There are some. There are some. There are some, exactly. No, there are, there are, ok. Vamos a ver otra vez esto después de, de aquí. There are some banks behind the factory. Number sí, four. Si no tiene ningún comodín así entre paréntesis abajo como el anterior. No quedaría solo there are. No, como les dije, algunos lo tienen, el, el, el quantifier que ya lo tenía el libro, pero ustedes se lo tienen que poner. Mire, complete the exercises with there is or there are in a quantifier. Uh -huh. okay. Ok, veamos el siguiente, Ana Ruth, number four. Aquí le dice que debe ser no, es negativo. There, there. 
Yo le había puesto tiche de Aran. Es negativo. De Aran, perdón. Okay. Pero there yo are. le puse de no. There are no. Exactly. That's correct. There are no store, right? Pero fíjese que aquí tenemos un problema. Store es en singular. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos cuando es en singular? There isn't. Ok, there isn't. Exactly. Porque es singular. <coughs> there isn't. There isn't. There isn't a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Right? There isn't. And then we can say there isn't any store. There isn't a store, right? On the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Right? And the last one, Blanca, can you help me with the last one? Number one, again. <laughs> there is an Aranza building around the corner. Yes, there is an Aranza building around the corner. Very well. So we have the answers for this exercise. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, any questions? Alguna pregunta? No? Well, no. No yet, pero ya lo vamos a ver acá. Right? Give me a moment. Marielo. Micrófono. Perdón. Ok. Now we're going to do here. Can you see the whiteboard? Remember A y An? See? No? Yes. yes. Okay. I want you to pay attention. Vamos a hacer un review rapidito de there is and there are. Okay? There is. I'm going to put it right here. And there are on the other side. Vamos a hacer un, una recapituliz recapitulización. Okay? There is and there are. Things that we need to consider, okay? Things that we need to consider when we are using the is. First, what we need to remember is the structure. The structure. What is the structure? There plus is plus singular noun. That is the structure, okay? Structure number one. We can use there plus is plus quantifier plus singular noun. This is the structure for there is. The structure for there are. What do you think? It's gonna be the same, right? There plus are plus plural, right? plus plural now. There plus are plus quantifier plus plural now, right? That's going to be the structure for the reason there are in affirmatives, right? In affirmatives. Now, what happens with this two? <laughs> when I have uh, there is and there are, we cannot confuse the words that are uh, plurals and singulars, okay? Give me a moment. Let me show you a picture for plurals and singulars. 
Something very, very easy for you to understand this. No, no me carga, permítanme. Okay. Okay. Now, let me show you here this picture, right? In this picture, right, we can see here, right, that we have plurals and singulars. We have one child right here on the top. We have one child and here we have children because we have two. We have one secretary and then we have secretaries, right? One boy, two boys. One woman, five women, right? So that's when we're going to have Singulars is when we talk about one thing or one person. Los singulares son cuando hablamos de una cosa o una persona. Okay. Los plurales, right? Plurals are when we talk about two or more people or things. Cuando hablamos de dos o más cosas o personas. Okay. So we have to be very careful. If you see, we have different examples, right? We have, for example, animals. One fox is singular five foxes plural there is a fox there are many foxes there are some foxes there is a tire there are some tires right that's when we're going to use these words so here we're gonna put that we're going to use quantifiers. Quantifiers, and right? for that is, we're gonna use a, an, right? A, an. We might use also, no, any, right? Quantifiers for there are. Some, any, a lot of, right? Some, any, a lot of, many, right? Because this give me quantity, right? And also no, right? También no, right? Do we understand this part? ¿Entendemos este resumen de lo que estamos haciendo? ¿Entendemos esos quantifiers? Dígame si los confundí más, si tienen preguntas. Porque vi que tuvimos varios errores en el último ejercicio que acabamos de hacer. Uno, dos. Any picture and not those examples. Yes. For, For example, dogs. we can say there isn't any any uh, milk in my refrigerator. There isn't any milk. Milk is practically un singular porque es no contable. Siempre se, se, se pasa esa área, right? There isn't any milk. There aren't any students in my class today. Just sola estaba, right? There aren't any. Very good question, Victor. Okay. Entendemos este, este, este ejemplo acá? Yes? Okay. This is what we're going to do. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. According to the book, con base en el libro, right? We are going to create a conversation, okay? Vamos a crear una conversación, pero I think, I think, creo que vamos a hacer algo más antes de eso. Ok. 
give me one moment. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios más con there is and there are, porque no me siento cómoda ahorita para que vayan a hacer una conversación de un solo. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do the first one here. I want you to look at my computer. Right? And we are going to do it individually. Can you see my computer? When it says number two, there is or there are. Can you see that? <coughs> Pueden ver eso? No? Yes. Donde dice yes. choose, yes. there is or there are. Yes. There are 18 yes. questions. Hay 18 preguntas. Okay? 18 oraciones. We're going to use there is or there are, and you're going to decide which one to use. Ustedes van a decidir cuál es la mejor opción para esas eh, oraciones. Okay? Now, no las vamos a hacer todas porque si no, no nos va, va a quedar tiempo. Right? So, we're going to do the following. Listen to me, please. Escúchenme, por favor. Right? Escúchenme. Eh, Miss Caroline. Okay, permítame, no enseñar el micrófono. Ana Ruth. Ana Ruth, Blanca, Claudia y Elsie. Do one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Ana, Blanca, Claudia and Elsie. Number five. Irma, Javier, Jorge, and Jose David, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Irma, Javier, Jorge, and Jose David, six, seven, eight, nine. Caroline, Mirna, Rafael, and Robinson, do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Salma, Santos, Victor, and Wendy. Salma, Santos, Victor, Wendy. Do 16, 17, 18, 1, and 2. Okay? So let's start. Let's do it. No le van a hacer todas, van a hacer una parte. Teacher, ¿vamos a escribirla o la vamos a dar respuesta enseguida? Vamos a dar las respuestas, pero escriban. Escriban las que le corresponde a usted. Para que así okay. no escriba las 18. It would be too much. Okay. Profe, ¿qué pena? ¿Cuál es para nosotros? Del 10, ¿cierto? No me recuerdo. Carola, ella ayuda. <risa> <risa> Carola, ¿le paga usted qué? Okay? 11, 12, 30, 40. 40, no, 6, solo 18. 40, ¿no? No, 14. 14. 11, okay. 11, 20, 30, 14. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Que okay, ya pues sí, de la, de la 10 a la 15, Robinson. What is happening? Okay, ahí está.
Teacher. Yes, Victor. Me quería decir que la. ¿Cómo sería? Sixteen. ¿Y si es Freddy? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Sixteen. Ah, sí. Sixteen. Sería de R para mí. Ok, ya vamos a ver la respuesta. Un momento. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo se pronuncia wardrobe? Eso que es. Wardrobe. No sé qué. Wardrobe. 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 Como que fuera che al final. Wardrobe. No. No. Wardrobe. Ah, wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Wardrobe. Exactly. Ah. Wardrobe is a thing that we use to put our clothes. We use a wardrobe ah. to put all the clothes when they are clean. That what, that's ah. what we use it for. Exactly. So, ah, okay. Much. okay, thank you. Can you see here? This is a wardrobe. Ah, okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Victor, did you finish? Victor, did you finish? Victor. Paseando ando Victor en vez de terminar. Victor Antonio ya terminó. Ya terminó, Víctor. Yes, teacher. Ya terminó. 16, la... 17, 18, 1 and 2. Yes. La 5. 5. No había entendido que era la 16. Solo la 18. Pero no, pero, pero. Solo la 16 ha hecho. No, 16, 17 y 18. La 1 y la 2 también. Finish, teacher. Ah. Yes. Okay. Now, I want you to please pay attention. Right? We're going to give the answers. Right? We're going to give the answers. Uh, let's start here with vamos, number one. Who has number one? De los que les correspondió. Número uno. Lean las respuestas. Lea. Lea. Okay. Lea. De uh, ¿Quién la va a leer? Perdón. Dele, dele. De la three bits of meal in the fry. Ok. There are three bottles of milk in the fridge. Repeat. There are three bottles of meal in the fridge. Ok. Thank you so much, Ana Ruth. That is correct. Number two. Uh, yo teacher. Okay. Okay. Two. There is a ship in the harbor. That is correct. There is a ship in the harbor. Very good. Uh, number three. Number three. There are 12 okay. students in the classroom. Yes, Blanca? There are. There are 12 students in the classroom. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Number four. Uh, there is a cat under the table. There is a cat under the table. Perfect. Number five. There are many boys in the street. Thank you, Blanca. Number six. There are five lessons on Monday. There are five lessons on Monday. Perfect. Seven. There is a history museum in the in this city. 
Very good. History Museum. History Museum. Repeat. Okay. History Museum. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank Number you. eight. There is a wardrobe in the corner of the room. Very good. Thank you. Number nine. There are many flowers in the garden. Excellent, thank you. Number 10. There are three windows window in the room. Very good. Windows. Window. Windows in the room, very good. 11. There is okay. a study opposite the theater. Okay, there is a stadium opposite the theater. The theater. The theater, read again. Again. There is a stadium opposite the theater. The theater, Why? very good. The theater. The theater, it's a place where we can go and see um, like performances, actors and actresses. When they perform something, you go to the theater, right? to the national Teatro. theater. Teatro, yes, sir. Teatro, theater. Thank you, Caroline. Robinson, you were saying number 12? They are... Um... A lot of a plane in the basket. Okay. There are a lot of apples in the basket. Apples. 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 Very good. 13. There is. There are, there are three colleagues in the in our, our town. There are. Exactly. There are three. Excellent. 14. There are, mm -hmm. there are, there are, there are, cards near the house. Very good, Mirna. There are four cars near the house. 15. There is an office in the street. Okay, there is a post office in the street. Okay, 16. Santos? There are... Oh, Salma, Salma, okay. There are many CDs on the table. Thank you. Santos, 17. There are 10 com computers in this classroom. Okay, perfect. 18. Escalante. 18. Mm, there is a mirror in this corridor. In this corridor. Very good. So those are the answers. Very good. Espero que hayan escuchado para ir anotando. Okay? Excellent work right now. So remember, if it's plural, use there are. If it's singular, use there is. Okay? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de eso? No, teacher. No? Okay, very good, very good. Now, I want to show you here, right, the next information we're going to do. We're going to create a conversation, okay? But with this conversation, what we're going to do is that we're going to start working here with the information that we have practiced during unit three, the total of the unit four, right? Unit four, all the information for directions, giving directions, there is, there are, right? That's what you're going to do to start practicing right now. Try to make a conversation, okay? Todos tienen mapas? ¿Tienen mapas? 
Nope. Uh -huh. No. Not the Practice giving directions. Okay. Don't worry. Let me get you some maps. Okay. I have one here. Vamos a utilizar un mapa para practicar las direcciones. Así como las estábamos practicando ayer. Okay. One block, two blocks. And we have different vocabulary that we can use. I'm going to show you. Let me see. Micrófonos, por favor. Micrófono. Okay. I'm going to put this. La voy a dejar en el chat, ok? En el chat. Vamos a hacer una conversación cortita, right? And we're going to use directions and we are going to use the is and there are. Vamos a ver qué tan creativos son cada uno. Bye. Vamos a ver. You have three maps. Pueden utilizar el mapa que ustedes quieran para hacer su conversación. Ok. En la conversación. Van a trabajar con dando direcciones right? y utilizando there is and there are. Así como la conversación que vimos sobre el training center. ¿Ok? Ella mencionaba dónde estaba el training center, pero también decía cuántos había. Right? So if you look at your maps, right? si, me, si ven sus mapas, right? we have beautiful maps there. Right? Let me show you. You're supposed to receive these three maps. Ustedes recibieron esos tres, right? This is the first one. We have bank, Chinese restaurant, bookstore, right? You have the names of the streets and you have this other, right? It's a smaller, este más grande, es un poquito más pequeño. It has a lot of things too. And we have this other one, right? That is very similar to the one we practiced with yesterday. Right? We have a cafe, bar, barber shop, many things. We have one, two, three blocks, right? You tell me, right? You are going to choose the map. Ustedes van a decidir qué mapa utilizar y cómo van a comenzar su conversación, okay? Do you understand what we're doing? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Yes. Okay, vamos a tratar de utilizar el vocabulario que hemos aprendido hasta el momento. Y lo vamos a hacer en una conversación. This conversation is going to be in pairs. Va a ser en parejas. Son las 9.50. Es mentira, no la vamos a terminar hoy. Pero la vamos a comenzar hoy. ¿Ok? Ahora, la van a comenzar. Mañana la vamos a terminar la conversación. Pero necesito que se recuerden con quién van a empezar a trabajar hoy. Porque con esa persona vamos a comenzar en la clase de mañana. Let's start. Vamos a ver, tenemos aquí. One, two, three, four, eight. Solo hay una personita. Una personita que va a estar de. Oh. No, vamos bien, vamos bien. Uh -huh. Ok, vámonos así. Let's go. Let's get to work. Ana, Elsie, Victor, Irma, únanse a la clase, por favor. Elsie, Elsie, hola José David, permítame un momento porque Elsie creo que estaba teniendo problemas de comunicación, así que creo que lo voy a poner con alguien más, ok, 
Dale, perfecto, teacher. Ok. Porque no veo que... No, ya se desconectó. Give me a moment. Ah, aquí está, no, aquí está, permítame. Vamos a ver si se conecta, démosle un momentico. El sí. Ahí está. El sí. Hello, El sí. Elsie, sí, hágame un favor. Por este momento apague su cámara para poderle escuchar bien. Sí, okay. Es que me está dando problema porque tiene poca carga mi teléfono, creo que eso es. Ok, entonces apague su cámara okay. para que sí pueda escuchar eh, y trabajar con José David. Ok, ahorita. Okay. Gracias. Hello, Elsie. Está viendo la pantalla. Necesito sacar una para meterme a una conversación de chat. Eh, Mira, ah, aquí. Sí, está bien, excelente. Ok. ¿Cómo para que... <ríe> pues, ¿Para quedarte bien? Sí, para, porque vamos a, a conversar y vamos a hacer lo, los mapas y todo. ¿Ya hicieron no. el mapa? Ay, me tiré ya. Ay, no, apenas vamos a escogerlo. O sea, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál escogemos? Ustedes deciden. Ah, Carla, y si usted gusta, podemos escoger el. El primero de arriba. El primero, bueno, listo. El primero dice este. Sí, ese, cabal, ese. Ok. Sí. Bueno, tenemos que coger un, un carro. Puede ser que sea a pie o puede ser que sea en carro, ¿verdad? You are here. Bueno, aquí, ahí va a ver si puedo escribir. Un momentito. Ah, no puedo. Teacher, ¿no puedo escribir sobre esta imagen? Eh, sí podría, pero yo creo que la tiene que... Si usted escribe... Ah, ahí. Ah, ah ya, ya. También Porque le puede dar bueno. vuelta a su teléfono, fíjese. Dele su teléfono, cambiar la orientación y le va a hacer la imagen un poquito más grande. Mire qué bonito. Ah, sí. ¿Qué sabe? Sabe. <risa> bueno, Rafael. Entonces, ¿dónde vamos a iniciar? Porque no necesariamente tiene que... Hello, do you have a question? Hello, teacher. Hello. 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 Ustedes van a trabajar los tres juntos porque a veces Wendy esta semana está, va a tener problemas con el trabajo. Entonces, eh, Víctor y Salma siempre en este alter plan. Entonces, eh, me van a ayudar ahí con Wendy. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Wendy, ponga atención. Sí. Yo lo más cobra conexión a Wendy. Con descuentos en el, en, el, en el Black Friday. En el Black Friday. Una Necesito un micrófono barato. Un Air Fryer. Una tablet, claro. Wendy, porque me estoy conectando desde mi celular. Una tablet, buenísimo. A la tienda le voy a vender una comp. Por favor. Sí. Ya con la décima generación, dice. Esta vale. es décima generación Core i3, imagínate, dice traba. Pero es Zoom o el Internet, una de las dos. Zoom. Zoom ha de ser. Sí. Vaya, entonces chicos, vaya. Eh, en el, entonces el segundo vamos a agarrar, el segundo mapa. Sí. Vaya. Entonces, mmm, voy a, eh, casi igual que lo mismo que ayer, va teacher. ¿Manda? Casi igual como lo como me estaban explicando Víctor, ahí se me con Blanca, de, sí. de, 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 de ese, ¿verdad? Sí, pero esta vez lo que va a hacer es que va a utilizar también de Aries and Error. Mm, vale. ah, entonces, Víctor, decirle tú una vez con, con Salma. Y a veces, ajá, y... Yo era hospital, están a las pies. <risa> no, primero tienes que preguntar en este lugar. Sí, no, no, no. ¿Qué es tu por decir hospital? Ahí es. ¿Qué es el hospital? ¿Qué es el hospital? ¿Qué es el hospital? 
Where is hospital. the hospital? The hospital. The hospital. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, vaya, sería eh, go strip eh, one, two, two block, one block, eh, turn left, podríamos decir. Pero, ¿cómo es? Si, si sería la conversación, de pronto usted me, ¿cómo es? Respondería al saludo, ¿no? Porque sería como, hey, usted, ah, no, queda allí, no. Como que... Ajá, sería. En este caso, sí, la sí. sería. Podríamos ponerle sure. Eh, sure. Go start. Go start. Eh, sure. Sure, así. Sure, sure se escribe. Sure. Sure. Ajá, sure. Ajá, sure. Ah, perdón. Eh, sure. Um... Sería go strip. Go to a strip, es verdad. No me acuerdo. Ayer lo vi. Sería. Espera, lo ando buscando. Go strip. Go strip. Go street one block. Permítame que se me. Eh, two, one, eh. One block to left. Two. To left. Gira a la izquierda. Left, sí, two. Vamos subiendo, sí, a la izquierda. Uh -huh. Hola, teacher, ¿me escucha? Hi. Es que José David no me escuchaba. No sé qué pasó. La bloqueé. De pronto, de pronto, de pronto el internet. Ok, ok, ahorita sí. Okay. Ahí estamos. Sí, vaya. Ok. No. Entonces estamos. Eh, él sí, ya estamos en la reunión completa, donde estamos todos. Ok, ok. No se preocupe. Now we're gonna see here. Le voy a ir pasando asistencia a los que ya están. Puedo ver acá. Ana Ruth Rivas Arevalo. Presente, teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Claudia Yamilet. Presente. El Sino de mí. Presente, teacher. Hermando Celaya. Irma Beatriz. Presente, teacher. Javier Antonio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Jefferson Rosa. Jorge Alexander. Jorge Balmore. José Carlos Chévez. José Carlos. José David. Presente, teacher. Carola y Silva. Mirna Ramos, Pedro Manuel, Rafael Barrera, Robinson Moreno, Salma Mabel, thank you. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel, Present Wendy teacher. Guadalupe, Present teacher. Marvin Palacios, Víctor Beltrán. Ok. So, we're going to finish here, guys, with today's class. Este día terminamos hasta acá con la clase. Es, le corresponde a... Ya los que no estaban, cuando pasé lista, ya los anoté. Porque ah, vaya, gracias. Okay. Dicho porque me sacó. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank And you, then teacher. we have here... Thank you. Eh, ese día le corresponde a Salma Mabel Ayala Aristondo. Hay que quedarse en este, los próximos 10 minutos. 
right? Si se queda, díganos y si no, lo puede hacer el tiempo a alguien más. Okay, the other uh -huh. ones, have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Bye bye. 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 No puedo, teacher. No puede, dice, ¿ok? Uh -huh. No puede alguien si se quiere quedar, se puede quedar, no hay ningún problema. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.